Well, last week we assembled the rockers to the frame of this coach body. I've got to do a little fine tuning, put the cross members in, and adjust some iron work. Then we're going to tackle this driver's box. We need to figure out what is original and what is aftermarket. Well, now that I have my cross members in for the floorboard, I can see that my braces for these rockers are not quite on track. I've got to do a little tweaking on these.
I didn't realize that these irons would be quite so far out of whack, but I've got them pretty close now. Typically on a higher quality coach, this would be a framed in seat with inset panels. But I think because of this iron, this was probably just a solid slab similar to like a farm wagon seat. But I've got it to where it should make contact full distance. On, on these irons here. I can see I've been kind of fighting the focus on this camera to try to get you to see that we're making full contact here. So I'm gonna take the back cross frame off of this. We'll clean it up and see what it looks like. Well, this is the left side of this driver's box and we're going to salvage this handhold. We've got a, a boot hook here, the step. But once I got this back end off, it opens up inside this back piece of iron and I'm 
now more convinced that this was a patch job. So you can see there's a set of carriage bolts that the heads are underneath this iron. And then there's a set of carriage bolts that goes through this iron. Makes me again think this iron is a patch job. And we go up here, there's several of them. There's another one here that is underneath. I think these were perhaps more original. All these carriage bolts that the heads were underneath. And you can also see these bolts that go through this iron are very erratic. So this bolt here is underneath this iron and it's pretty centered up here. These other two bolts that include this iron, one almost missed it, the other's offset. This bolt is in the center and it's underneath this iron. This one is way to the side. This one's not bad here. Then this one, this is the one that's under the iron. This is the one that was because of the iron. Again, offset. So these all seem to be pretty centered up. So these three here are a little more centered up. A little more careful on how they were assembled. These others are a little erratic. I have been kind of eager to take this back side off so I could see what's underneath. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this old patch off. So these three carriage bolts here were the ones that went through just the back panels and these others are what held the patch on. This is all to the inside of the driver's box. This is the outside. Again, I think this was a patch job. I'm going to sneak underneath these bolts here and see if I can't get those snipped off. And I'll cut apart what would be the right side of this driver's box. This also shows three carriage bolts underneath this patched iron. So there's also some evidence here of some screws that were used. There's a couple there. This is so rotted out, I can't see the makings of any others. These two carriage bolts were actually side by side. We have one on the top and two in the middle. The one down here is missing. So these are the patch irons. These went down the sides and these were the irons that were on the back that sandwiched underneath the original carriage bolts that heads were still underneath. So these I'm not going to put back on. So there's no need to clean them up. So this is a step that's off of the left side. I'll sandblast that. These are the two handholds, right and left, that are not even close to the same, but they are what they are. You can see, I think these went vertical instead of horizontal. I'll sandblast those. And these are the back framing of the driver's box. This would be the right side, this would be the left side, and they stood up like so. So a couple things that I've noticed on these, they are uniform hole spacings. And I'll show you how they match the front irons. But I also noticed the uniformity of these original bolts. This one is gone, but the two correlate. And then this one that had two, this one had two, this one only had one, but you can see the hole here where the other one was. 
So there's a pair there, and then these two correlate with each other. So this is the right side. This is the outside of the box. This is the rear. This would have been replacement for this framework here. So as I put these up against the front, these have double hole spacings. And these also have the same double hole spacings that correlate with the front irons. And it's also the same on the left side. Well, these double hole spacings are showing the width of the sideboards on the driver's box. The joint of the board would be right through the center of these double hole spacings. And it's the same on this rear iron as well. So the thing that stands out that is odd that I think was changed in the wreck is that the carriage heads of these bolts are on the inside of this iron. This side here, the carriage bolts were on the outside because the carriage head goes up against the wood and the nut is up against the iron. But I think when this outside piece of iron was added as a patch, these bolts were replaced. Heads were on the inside with the exposed nuts on the outside, which is non-typical for any type of carriage work. The heads would be against the wood, the nut would be against the iron. That's the only discrepancy I see. There is a little bit of difference in the height here, and it may, maybe I'm not really quite sure why that is. If this was recessed down into it, or if I just have my measurements just to fuzz off, we're about a half inch difference in height between these two, so I'm gonna to have to adjust this iron somehow. So this is the iron off of the right side, cut it off of the wood. We're setting just a little tall. This one is maybe three eighths of an inch off. So if I try to invert this and put it on the same side, because this end is shorter, these two holes line up closer. These two are a little low but these center two are way off. And what's happened is these sideboards are different widths. So the, the bottom sideboard looks like we're about 11 and a half. The middle sideboard is nine and a half to nine and three quarter. And our top sideboard is 11 and a quarter. So because of the difference in the widths here, these have to go in their correct position. So what I'll probably end up doing is I'll just trim this off a little bit to drop this down to get these to line up to make them work. But this iron goes on the right side and this iron will go on the left side. Again, I can just shorten this up here and I'll have to do that on the cross frame as well to get these to coordinate, but I think we can make that happen. Well, this continues to be a bit of a puzzle, but it's coming together piece by piece. Hopefully, we're going to see the whole picture eventually. Appreciate you following along. Thanks for watching.